Let us install review and evaluate the new release of NixOS 25.11 by entering the official site and downloading its graphical image for x86 systems. Then we start the live session choosing the long-term support GNOME edition because the new kernel caused issues with the NVIDIA card and the live environment loads swiftly now. Next we choose the language we want to install the geographic location, which in my case is Guatemala, and the keyboard layout, which in my case is Latin American Spanish. We then enter the name, the user credentials, and the password with confirmation disable the strong password rule and reuse the same password for the administrator account. We select no and the disk for installation. And since the erase option is missing, we manually define mount points over existing partitions and format them correctly now. The installation begins and one particular trait of NixOS is its package manager which employs a declarative and reproducible approach for building the entire system. The first stable version appeared in the early 2010s and today it uses GNOME as the default desktop environment although several others can also be selected. We start NixOS for the first time it enters quickly we type the password and open the default desktop environment which shows a blue background with the NixOS emblem. We review the desktop, the doc, and the applications, which are the usual ones that normally accompany the GNOME environment, and it includes two terminal programs. We open the terminal called GNOME Console, enlarge the font size for better readability, and also expand the window to achieve a more comfortable workspace overall. We use the command to verify whether FastFetch, Sysbench, and Firefox are installed by default and discover that only the final one is included out of the three options. We proceed to edit the configuration file located in the etc. directory under Nix OS then scroll through the document and search for the packages declaration segment. This section known as system packages receives the additions of FastFetch and Sysbench and once added we save the configuration file and exit the text editor quietly. With the declaration defined we run the command to rebuild the system so Nix OS regenerates its entire package base applying the new settings to the running system. We run FastFetch to obtain general information about the system including name, kernel package, count desktop environment, boot memory values, and installation details. We later execute commands that verify the distribution kernel memory usage and disk statistics and compare them against the information provided by FastFetch earlier. Now we verify the year problem by using the date command then run the system analyze tool to observe boot time performance when firmware loading is excluded. Next we run Sysbench beginning with a processor test to measure the performance of a single thread and later several threads using mathematical workloads. We continue with thread and mutex evaluations to observe how the system manages concurrent load behavior resource contention and overall synchronization costs. We evaluate both memory reading and memory writing using a sequential benchmark designed to measure how well the system handles intensive memory operations. We prepare the required files to test disk input and output behavior and then execute the test to determine write speed, read speed, and overall disk throughput. We run the top command to monitor the memory used by the browser with a single window open without any extensions, so we can observe its initial consumption. We open a second tab and load a video, then a third, and finally a fourth observing how memory usage steadily increases with each additional active browser tab. We complete the full review and evaluation of the Nix OS distribution, and now we examine the results observed and measured throughout all performed tests. These results compare this distribution with others and show that Nix OS maintains very current versions of kernel packages and the default desktop environment. Regarding memory usage at startup, the system shows an average value. The installation speed is also average, and boot time stands as the best among many systems. Processor tests using both one thread and several threads show average performance and the thread and mutex evaluations also yield similar average values. Memory reading and writing results the average consumption per browser tab and the disk read and write metrics all fall within overall average performance ranges. In conclusion, NixOS delivers average results in Sysbench tests which is not negative since it does not claim to be a lightweight distribution at any moment. However, in topics like boot time, this distribution stands out strongly delivering excellent startup speed and it also shines in package availability and desktop options. 
This concludes the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and activate notifications so you can receive new content. We will meet again soon.